mention the career changes that you've had in terms of being an engineer versus, you know, moving towards the commercial side of things. This is kind of becoming a popular shift, I would say, in today's world. There are a lot of engineers who uh, like shifting to management, like shifting to business development. They go through it through the product development process. In your opinion, what is one piece of advice that you would give to someone who wants to have a similar career path? Honestly, I, I think there's no formula for this career path. I My piece of advice is do what is most interesting to you today, and that will open up new opportunities for what you can do tomorrow. And I kind of got into this state just to remind you of my career path. You know, I was an engineer, then, you know, you everyone tells you, if you want to go do something else, go get your MBA, go into consulting. And then if you go into consulting, you can get into a strategy position. And so that was my formula, right? And today I'm here in brand marketing. And when I talk to other brand marketeers, they're like, well, if you want to go into brand marketing, you have to be 12 years in marketing. You have to start your career as a senior product manager, a product manager, then go into like a sales role, and then you get into brand marketing. But that's not true. I came here through a different path. And it's because there are people who believed in my skill. They recognized the diversity of experiences that I built and gave me this opportunity. And I've been very fortunate and lucky. But then that's not to say I can be the only one who's this fortunate and lucky. When people see talent, when they see the way you think and the capabilities that you bring to the table, they will give you the opportunity. And if they don't give it to you, it's just not the right place for you. And there are companies out there that value diversity, that value the difference of your experiences and your and, and the way you think to give you the opportunity. My advice is don't waste your time thinking that there is a checklist that I've got to do my MBA, then I've got to go into McKinsey and I've got to go and do checkbox this and checkbox that. And that's going to give me my final career. No, believe in yourself. Do what's most interesting. Excel at that. Be authentic to yourself. Like, I think that's really my takeaway and it's my biggest advice not something I necessarily followed I checkboxed my way quite a bit but I don't think that's what got me to where I am if you like that video and you want to see more of us follow us on our LinkedIn page at the EITF project click the follow button and you'll get more updates when we post more videos